This time we're going to be playing the tune Giant Steps. We're going to be playing it right now with a very unique application. We're going to be using, uh, applying ourselves on a very, very small piano. And what that means is we're going to be making it that way by using what I call frames. So we're going to start off with seven notes. Okay, you're going to go almost to the octave and you're going to create a little frame. So we go like this. Okay, so we have the frame in place. And what's going to happen? We're going to play the chords two giant steps, but we're going to play the one, three, five, seven. But whenever you hit the one, you're going to be always hitting the nine first. You don't go nine to three. You're not going to go, you know, so you, you, whenever you see, you're going to be approaching the one, you're going to hit the nine first. So let's okay, go. So let's go one and two and, and then we're going to go to D7, three and You can't go to the nine here, you can't hit the one, so you're going to go. Okay, let's do it again. So B major seven, we're going to start off, remember you're always going to hit the nine first, but in the B major seven, you can't hit the nine here if you're not going to hit the one. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to go one and two in, three and four in, so here it's going to be two beats for the B major seven, like this. One and two and four. Swing the notes as you start getting comfortable with it. <clears throat> Again. Now you see what I just did there? So I, I basically, it's all about connecting the line. So what I do now is I can move it up to the very next seven notes and do the same thing. I can do some stride. And go again, up to here, same thing. same thing. You're going to go all the way up till you reach the whole octave. See, I'm jumping around. I can put a little bit of breathing in it, put a quarter note in. It's okay. Once you're comfortable with the seven notes and you can function, okay, then you're going to go to six notes. Start the same exercise. So you do six all the way up, then you're going to go to five. Same thing. You see, so you do five, then you're going to go to four notes. So you do four notes here. Same thing. See? So what's happening here is by as you get closer, the, the options become, you, you're heightening your view even more because you really have to be on your toes to see the chord tones and, and be able to connect the line efficiently. So this is a um, very, very important skill. Um, I've seen it do tremendous things with people improvising because it really sets up the groundwork for all our approach notes to come all sorts of things in the right hand. So you're going to be able to use these chord tones. They're going to start sticking out like lights. And the whole thing here is when you're playing this, the thing to remember, it's that linking. One and two and then here. Three and four and one and two and link. See? Then you got the linking quality. So what's happening here is you're going to be linking these, the line and showing you whatever note you're on, you're going to go to the, you're going to continue the line. 
with finesse, okay? So this is um, uh, really a cool skill. Start with seven, six, five, down to four note frames. In the left hand, just keep it shell, you know, you can keep it just shell, you can even pulse it, you can get into this kind of, you know. You can pulse it just to keep the time. But the big thing here is, you know, if you get more comfortable, you can put stride in and all, but um, the, the most important thing right now is if you find yourself that you want to leave some space in the line, even though it, uh, this particular exercise is built around forcing yourself to do straight eighths all the time, uh, you can le let some space happen in the line to kind of get composure, keep it musical, and you can really work on swinging the line as well, you know? Uh so you can really start getting some uh, a real swing feel into the line too, so you can really break it into little pieces and work it out. Okay, so enjoy the frame study here. This is what it's all about. You do this and you'll be amazed at the results. Good luck.